So it is starting to sound like maybe James Harden isn't so happy in Brooklyn. There have been many reports coming out from many different sources. Uh, even Woj has talked about, or I mean Shams talked about it. There are reports from The Athletic, from literally everywhere, talking about how he doesn't like it in Brooklyn. He misses the warm weather that they had in Houston and just isn't happy there in general, isn't happy with Kyrie Irving. We've probably all seen that video of him when he's talking about Kyrie Irving not having the vaccine and he's like I'll give it to him myself if I have to because obviously they blew it in the playoffs last year definitely could have won the championship and he doesn't want them to take any risk again with Kevin Durant being injured and Kyrie Irving being able to play less than half of the games right now because he can't play in Toronto he can't play in Los Angeles and he can't play in Brooklyn so um that will definitely hurt them later on but here I'll talk about all the different reports if you just look up james harden so james harden this is according to cbs sports james harden frustrated at having to be the guy for the nets after thinking he was joining a super team so right now it's basically just him and kyrie irving half the time so uh he's reportedly frustrated with that um and then obviously it's it's a james harden ben simmons trade the the 76ers have made it clear that they're waiting for the offseason to trade for James Harden or, well, they'd love to trade for him now, I'm sure. But most likely it wouldn't be till the offseason because James Harden is a free agent in the offseason and then he can basically just do a sign in trade. The Nets could get Ben Simmons back in return for him and James Harden could team up with Tobias Harris and Joel Embiid. Now, reportedly, the 76ers are not willing to give up either Tyrese Maxey or Matisse Thibel in a trade like this. I'm sure they would give up potentially Shake Milton, but they want to keep Matisse Thibel and Tyrese Maxey, which I don't know if they'd be able to do, but it just kind of depends on how much James Harden wants to leave. Even if I was the Nets, though, I would probably keep him until the offseason because you could say, well, if he win a chance championship, maybe he changes his mind. Now here, let's see. Kevin Durant wants James Harden to stay with the Nets. That's from Sports Illustrated. Um, okay, I'm not seeing any more yet. I'm just seeing the same exact ones over and over and over. Uh, the Nets will not deal James Harden before the trade deadline. That's coming from Steve Nash um, and the New York Post. And... Kevin Durant doesn't want the Nets to trade James Harden. Um, James Harden wants to move to Philly. Obviously, he has those connections to Philly. If you've ever, uh, if you guys remember in the Houston days, there was Daryl Morey. He is now with the 76ers, as well as who is the 76ers coach? Coach. It's Doc Rivers, right? I believe it's Doc Rivers. Yeah, Doc Rivers. Uh, I don't think he has any connections to him. But where is Mike D'Antoni? He was with the... With the... Um, he was with the... Excuse me. He was with the Nets for a little bit, I believe. But now I think he is just not... Oh, he's with the Pelicans? Yeah, he works with the Pelicans right now. Okay. I didn't know if he was part of the 76ers organization or not. But as you can see, like, there's just, there's a couple connections. Yeah. Here's three reasons Tyrese Maxey would be untouchable in James Harden talks. So there's another thing talking about how, what I just said. Um, now this trade, I could see it happening. I don't think it happens before the trade deadline, but I could see it happening in the offseason. It just depends on how mad James Harden gets. Um, he has played a lot, a lot of games, and I would not be surprised. I'm not hoping, but I would not be surprised if he were to get injured with how much he's had to play. Playing 37 minutes a game this year, uh, played 44 games so far, 22 and a half points a game to go along with 10 assists, which might be leading the league. That's pretty good. And eight rebounds a game. So he's actually pretty close to averaging a triple double. He's playing pretty dang well. Obviously, his points are down from when he averaged 36.1 points a game in the 2018-19 season and then 34 and a half the season after. Um, but 
he is an all-star. He wasn't named to the all-star team. And then you look at Ben Simmons. Hasn't played this season. Hasn't played since last season in the playoffs against the Atlanta Hawks. So uh, they lost to the Atlanta Hawks. We saw that uh, he passed up that layup. We all know what happened in the playoffs there. So he averaged only 14 and a half points a game, which somehow was still enough to be named an all-star. Um, but I guess he did average seven rebounds, seven assists, a steal and a half and half a block. So that's not like that bad when you look at everything all around. Also, Draymond Green's averaging like eight points a game and it's an all-star this season, which is just ridiculous. He, like that, that should not be allowed to happen. But um, yeah, I would say this would be a way bigger win, obviously, for the 76ers because James Harden is a former MVP, nine-time all-star, three-time scoring champ an assist champ, seven-time All-NBA, All-Rookie team, sixth man of the year, um, was named to the 75th anniversary team, versus Ben Simmons, who's a three-time All-Star, Rookie of the Year, one-time All-NBA, steals champ, All-Rookie, and two-time All-Defense. So, yes, he is a lot younger. He is only 25, will be 26 um, by the offseason, but uh, James Harden is 32 years old and will be 33 before next season starts. So he probably will start to fall off a little bit. We have seen his numbers decline uh, for the most part since that 34-point game season where it went down to 24 and a half and then 25 and then 24 and a half and now 22 and a half, which yes, he did get a bigger, I mean a smaller role because he is on a better team now, like a better all-around superstar team. But his game, I don't really think will actually age as well as people think because he won't be able to move as quickly and get those uh, sneaky little shots that he is so accustomed to doing. So with him being a free agent, yeah, I do think there is a shot he leaves, but um, really the Nets could be the winner in the long run. I just don't know about Ben Simmons' whole personality, if he would really fit well with Kyrie, because I think they could have some internal clashes there. Um, he is still going to be paid and under contract through the 2022-23 season, 23-24, and then 24-25 will be his final season of that deal. So the 76ers could just sit him, have him as a name on their roster, and basically just not play him. We'll see what happens, though, uh, if this trade does end up going down. But it is very interesting to think about. Let me know if you guys think that there is a shot this, goes, this trade goes down. But that's all I got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, though. Subscribe and turn notification bells to all. That would really be appreciated. I've really appreciated the support lately. And I'll see you guys all in the next upload. Thank you so much for watching. And peace out, my friends. Bye.